Hey everybody, I'm Cheryl Swift, the Duchess of Rock and Roll. I'm here today in beautiful Belleville, Illinois yeah. with none other than Cole and Kendra Porter, <laughs> or as we call them, Porter Union. How are you guys? Great. How are you? Awesome. I'm, I'm hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we've actually had a break in the weather. Yeah. It's a little toasty for an outdoor gig. Yeah. Today is all right though. Yeah, the last two days were, I'm like, I'm so glad you weren't playing out of doors the last two. <laughs> Actually, you were on the road this week, right? No, not not. Oh, okay. Week, no. No, I thought you were. Home this week. Yep. Oh, yeah, little we break. Yeah. <laughs> now it's home, Springfield? Yep, yeah. absolutely. Springfield, Missouri, mm-hmm. which is where I met you guys, which was only three, four. Not too long ago. Not, within the last month. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, there was this buzz about you. <laughs> this, there was this buzz about the Porter Union. So you were on tour with uh, Cody Jinks yep. and Ward Davis. Yep. Mm-hmm. How was that? Incredible. Like the most fun ever. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hometown. Yeah. Sold out gig. Right. What's, yeah. Was that like for you just like this day rocks? Yeah. We were, before we knew we were going to be on that show, we were trying to get tickets to the show because <laughs> we knew it would be just a great right. time. So. You're like, we're not only on the guest list, we're on the stage, babe. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, here we go. Yeah. So um, that was the first night I saw you live. I had heard your music because a lot of people in um, Cody's fan club called the Flockers have been talking about you guys. And so it was so nice to see. You know, I love to see people live the first time that I really hear them. And I love the way you sing to one another. And I hear there's a love story behind all this, the way you look at one another <laughs> and how you met. I, I want to know a little about that story. Who wants to start with that? Cole, take it away. Cole. <laughs> uh, well, I was... Sing. It was just me and a, a buddy that played upright bass, and that's what I did for the longest time. And we played this uh, place called Bears out in Republic, Missouri, which is our, my actual hometown. Oh, okay. Right outside of Springfield. Okay. Um, and she lived out there and uh, was a waitress there. <laughs> Coca Cola? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, and I, I absolutely remember the first time I saw her. Yes. There, there's no doubt. Um, and then we just kind of struck up a relation. Once I found out she could sing, that was my dream woman right there for sure. Right. You're like, so, wait a minute. Now, how long ago was this? Seven, seven years, years ago. Yeah. And was that it? Like, you saw her that night and then. It was yeah. it for me. He, <laughs> oh, 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 I see. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah. Well, he actually asked me to sing karaoke. Was the whole thing just something I don't ever really do? But he was just trying to. Right, you're like we're just having fun. So he asked me to sing karaoke, and he had no clue that I could actually sing. And so we sang uh, "Whiskey Lullaby," Brad Paisley and Alison Krauss. And when the girl part came in, he's I'm like singing, like trying to sing the song, and he's like in the microphone, he's like. Dang, you can sing. You know, you can sing. And I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to sing. Like, You're like, you asked me up here, right? <laughs> but yeah. you didn't know she had talent. No, I You're no like idea. cute girl, waitress He's at like the bar. He's like trying to impress me. But my, my buddy's like, come on, hot shot, go ask. You know, and it was a terrible idea, but it worked. It worked. It worked. Yeah. And here you are seven years later. Yeah. yeah. That's so sweet. <laughs> I love watching you sing together. And I love, Bella and I have been listening to the CD. I love Don't, Don't You Know. That's the song for me. You know, like, when you really love someone, you really, you know, like, we, my husband and I celebrated 24 years this week, and when you know, you know. Thanks. That's a miracle in our age group. Like, we're a statistic, like, in the good column right now. And um, I just love the way you sing together. You know, there's the power duet couple maybe making a comeback. I mean, you and Kendra and uh, Chris and Morgan with an E. You know, it's, it's beautiful. Thank you. I love hearing you guys sing together. We've been really, uh, really happy with how responsive people have been to that. You know, we didn't know. Uh, we love it. So, yeah. um, it's just, it's great to see the other people receiving it so well. Cause that's what we're going to do regardless. So. Right. You're like, this is what you're going to get <laughs> if you, you can like it or you can go. Yeah. Um, I noticed, too, that um, you recorded this with, uh, you pr- it was produced by Josh Thompson. Mm-hmm. Now, how long have you known Josh? You know, I guess we've known Cody and Josh and all those guys for about three or four years. Okay. We used to be on the same booking agent back in the day and, and played a bunch of shows together. Got it. Okay. We were behind the Wormy Dog Saloon in Oklahoma City one night after a show, and Josh was like, hey, man, I really want to produce a record for you guys. And we were like, oh, that'd be cool, you know? Yeah, and, why wouldn't you? But then years later, it finally you happened. Know, they got so busy and, and everything. Right. Um, and uh, we finally got to a point where, where we were ready to record another record, and it just happened to work out. You know, That's and, awesome. Uh, yeah. For those of you who may or may not know, which probably most of the people seeing this interview will know, <laughs> um, Josh Thompson is uh, both Cody Jinx's bass player, and he's worked with Cody and been one of Cody's best friends 
and managed the band until they hired a management company for years. I mean, he and Cody are like brothers, and he's a very talented producer and bass player. And so, yeah, you the know, first time I ever heard from Josh. It was him sending me an email asking what time we were going to be there for load in, and I thought it was just a man. But he's the bass player, for right? He's doing all the right. all the management yeah, stuff. Yeah. Well, now that Cody's uh, Cody's star is on the rise, Josh is uh, playing bass, and they've got a management team. Nothing wrong with Josh, of course. We love you, man. <laughs> um, so I know I always say that, and I'm like, does that sound bad? No, I think he's probably happy. To I, be think, just yeah, I think yeah, I think you're probably right. He's like, yeah, this is good for me. Um, so this last uh, couple months have been interesting. Because something cool happened around a festival. Do y'all want to take it and say what happened and where, where it went with all this fun stuff on the internet? Well, the Tumbleweed, the music festival that's coming up um, in Sugar Creek here yes. at the end of this month, just an incredible lineup. Um, and we've been noticing it for a while, popping up on Facebook. Oh, wow, that's an awesome lineup. Right. Who wouldn't want to be right. a part of that? Who wouldn't want to be there? You should be there, uh, end of July. <laughs> and then they created a poll and people could vote on uh, what bands they wanted to see there. They were going to add a, you know, another band um, to another stage or what have you. And um, we don't usually try to do a bunch of contests like that, but we saw that people were starting to vote for us and like holy this. crap you know we've got a chance to win this thing so we you know we started um, um, kind of putting it out there and then the porterhouse which is run by troy and uh, tisha thrill Thrill killer shout out to troy and yeah, tish we, we love, love you guys they, uh, <laughs> they just ran with it and of course they're tied in with all the black sheep folks and it happened to be right around the time that we were out with cody and all them right and, and then uh, the wardens caught on and yeah, the flockers it, and the black sheep and it just started to it we had i mean it was we did not expect that at all. Yes. We were really blown away um, and moved by all of that. Right. Like you know. It, did you it, feel a little like a big rock star? Were you like, look? Well, were you humbled by it a little? Very I, humbled. I, at yes. the end, I keep telling people at the end, it became more like like we didn't want to win for us to play the festival. Like we wanted to win so that everybody that had put in so much effort could win too. Like that they right. all felt victorious in it, and so it, it came super close. And well, I mean, everybody knows at this point we. We came in second. We were within 50 votes of winning first yes. place. Um, Piedmont Boys took home first. and uh, Which, congratulations, we, by yes. the way. Yes, we're, we're excited to meet those fellas. Um, and then guys like Justin James Clark and yes. Nikki. Lamontia. Oh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. They just, well, here's the thing. I got chills. Dustin is a friend of mine because he's in St. Louis. And when he put out that video, I just thought it showed so much of the music community of how it should be. Mm-hmm. And people pulling for one another yeah. instead of people, you know, a lot of it, like especially in the genre where you guys are folk Americana, you know, th- that that it's a it's a very nice place. But for someone who's so close to winning to realize, hey, let's throw our our muscle behind these mm-hmm. guys we don't really even know because they just met you. It, yeah, you know, I'd only met yeah. them once. Right. And had a- they're also obviously very nice. Yes. There's a lot of, yeah. of Missouri pride in that too, because we had yes. Justin and Evan Webb, and, yes. and then us yeah. obviously being from Missouri, and so it kind of felt like everybody from home just kind of like came rally. together, and it was really cool. And the beautiful thing of it, which I guess people know by now if they're going to Tumbleweed or watching, is that Dustin was invited to play, you were invited to play, and yeah. the Piedmont body, the P. My boys are playing. So, in the end, y'all got a spot. I just thought it was really beautiful and a good example for people of how to be. Yeah. You know, because not everybody's nice these days. Right. Well, in the tumbleweed, folks, all the ones that we've dealt with have been just overwhelmingly awesome people. Um, So, I I hope that that festival is just packed. Me too. I cannot wait to be there. They've done a great job of exposing uh, a lot of people to new bands and great music and uh, been kind enough to allow folks like us to play on it. So yes. I hope it's a um, you know, home run for them. Me we'll too. Do. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're Like you said, we did end up getting asked to play and we're just beyond excited to... That that gave, like I said, all of the people that really put in a lot of effort and rallied around us and voted and shared and just kept bugging their Made friends. Made shirts. And, I mean, yeah. it was... I don't know that gentleman's name. Matt Wilkin. Matt, yeah. Yeah. Matt, Matt, you Matt. rock. I have yeah. all these pictures of you on my phone <laughs> yeah. that I put all over the internet. Yeah, and so, himself into a billboard for us. Yeah. Oh, that's, he yeah. was like, I got you. So all those people ended up kind of victorious with us. Yes. And uh, know that all their hard work paid off. So it was awesome. Yes. And then... Um, well, what is, like, first of all, I love your candles. I don't know if y'all know this, <laughs> but my daughter, who's here, Bella and I, she has these candles. There's three smells, right? I have four. Actually. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, four. Okay. Four, yeah. Blueberry, which is my favorite. <laughs> Blueberry, snickerdoodle, cucumber melon, and sea salt orchid. Okay, I'm just going to tell you something. <laughs> 
for days I was like, what's that cool smell in my car? And then I remembered the candles were in the floorboard. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God, I hope they didn't melt. But my car smell, her room smells good, the living room. Every time I walk in the living room, I think of you guys. Well, good. So when you're at her shows, the candles are... They're, they're $10 a piece. $10. And I have the... Is it true that I have the very first signed candle? Probably, yeah. I don't think yeah. I've No, that's right. If that was the one. Yes, yes, that was you. I remember And there you have very few sign. firsts. Yeah. That's one. <laughs> um, so you can buy their candles. But what's more important is that you go to the com and acquire this beautiful CD. Because there's some songs on here that'll make you weep. They'll make you giggle. They're just so good. And I love Thief. Oh, Thank you. Bella goes, Thief, it sounds like it's going to be mean and it's so sweet. <laughs> it does It does kind of have a mean feel to it when it, when when it comes out of the game. Yeah, it's got all those minors. Well, I think your writing is brilliant. I love the couple dynamic. I love how you love one another and look at one another. You know, if people just were, you know, in, in love still, it would be a great world, wouldn't it? That's true. A little more love never hurt. A little, a little bit That's more true. love always goes that. Work, yeah. So we're here tonight at Belleville and Eckert. So what's coming up besides Tumbleweed for you guys? Uh, well, next week, actually, uh, Jonathan Parker from North Carolina is coming through. and uh, i got to meet this so, guy. No, I've, I've been talking with him on the phone. I haven't met him in person, but I wanted to try to help him um, get some shows. So he's going to be playing with us in Springfield um, at a place called Southbound Bar and Grill. Okay. Thursday, the 20th, and then he and I are going to um, uh, Jefferson City to play at the Mission on Friday. Then after that, we have Tumbleweed. Ken and I are going up to uh, Minnesota and, and yeah, Iowa yeah, for some it. acoustic stuff. Oh, nice. Okay. And then the middle of August, we'll go out to California for the Red Dirt and Gold Dust Festival. Nice. It's awesome. Jason, Edie, Courtney Patton, Jamie Lynn Wilson. Oh, yum. Evan yeah. Webb actually is going to be. Evan Webb, great guy from our area. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we'll make our way back through Wyoming. Uh, we're playing Dukes out in Saratoga, Wyoming. We'll be in Denver, Colorado, Angels Landing, Berthoud, Colorado. Yeah. Um, Blackbird on Pearl Street in Tulsa. Um, it's so, on the website. I was yeah, going to say, it's on the that. website. <laughs> Theporterunion.com. Yeah, yeah. I, I was trying to remember. Because at the end, I'll be like, is it the or is it? Yeah, I never remember that part. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just have to say that um, I loved watching the camaraderie that happened around the contest. Thank I love you. watching you guys. Tonight will be my second time getting to see you sing live. I uh, First I'm, time with the band, though, right? Yeah, was it yeah, was oh, yeah. 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 So here's a first for you. That's, That's the true. first. You know, I saw Cody. It was two years ago tonight. I saw Cody for the first time. Just oh, Cody wow. and Chris opening for Sturgill. And I oh. lost my mind. I bet that was incredible. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. I was punching the guy next to him. I'm like, do you know that guy's name? Does anybody know who this guy? <laughs> I literally, when he broke into Cast No Stones, mm. lost my mind because it was acoustic mm. and it was a treat yeah. and you know when I when you guys sing the don't don't um I never get it right don't you know because I always want to say don't you hurt well there's two that are don'ts like right at the beginning of the yeah. album right so I, yeah. I'm like don't you hurt and don't you know and Start don't you break and rules. right here's the don't you don't you <laughs> um I just want to say it's been a it's been fun I know it's only been a month but watching what's happening and the love that you're getting and the it's fan crazy. club that was started online yeah. for you and all of our friends in the um, in the different fan clubs coming together to love on you, you know. I love watching that unfold organically when people really mean it. And I, yeah. that's how I feel about your music. You really mean it. And I think it's beautiful what you've written together. Well, thank you. Um, you know, I've, I've been doing this for 10 years or so. And I really would say this last month might have been, you know, it's probably been one of the best months of ever playing music. And just because, purely because of... Um, how the, the love that's been coming in from everybody. It's, yes. just been, it's been something we haven't really it's experienced yet. We've always had great people and great fans and friends, but this, this something just feels different and it's yes. uh, hard to put a, a words to yes. describe it, but it's been great. Yeah. yeah, it's it's good things are coming. <laughs> you know, it's the it's the beginning of something very beautiful for the two of you, I think. What Besides the love story. <laughs> musically. I meant musically. <laughs> I gotta be careful what I say. <laughs> So anyway, anything else you want to say to everybody while we're here? Uh, thank you guys for uh, listening to us and, and showing us all this love. And uh, yeah. hopefully we're coming somewhere close to you and we can hang out and play some music, bring a beer. Yeah. Have some, have some tea and beer. Tea and beer. Tea and beer and <laughs> candles. And <laughs> candles. I'll I'm send you all, I'm you. all out the candle. So I'm Cheryl Swift, the Duchess of Rock and Roll. I'm here with Cole and Kendra Porter. 
They are called Porter Union. You can find their music at theporterunion.com. You can find them on all the social media sites under Porter Union. There's fan club floating around out there. And uh, we're going to enjoy a nice, lovely evening here at Eckert's in Belleville, Illinois. Yes, we are. And we wish you all peace, love, and rock and roll.